Raphael and Carmen. You're entering the most important human commitment and journey of your lives to be married in the sight of God. And I want to I want to call on your marriage to be something. First, make your marriage about unselfishly loving one another. Second, your marriage should be about adapting yourself to each other, about forming yourself around the needs of the other. And as both of you do that in mutual love, an incredible bond uh, is, is created. Uh, in fact, in the words of the Apostle Paul, it means doing nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind, let each one of you regard one another as more important than himself. Most importantly, number three, your marriage should be about committing to the promise that you make today. And that is a promise that affirms that you're committed to each other no matter what. It's a commitment that expects life to have some really joyful experiences, but also it expects for life to have some unexpected storms. And what takes you through all of it is the promise that you make today that you will always be there for one another. Raphael, and taking Carmen as your wedded wife, do you offer her not only your hand, but your heart as well? Do you promise to love her and treasure her and encourage her and stand by her for as long as you both shall live? Do you make this promise? I do. And Carmen, in taking Raphael as your wedded husband, do you offer him not only your hand, but your heart as well? And do you promise to love him and to treasure him and to encourage him and to stand by him for as long as you both live? Do you make this promise? Yes, I do. Father, we pray that the coins that we just watched as a symbol, that it means that Raphael and Carmen are exchanging their lives and their well-being for one another. And that the rings represent the purity and, and the commitment of the love that they're pledging together. And the cross represents for them that their lives are lived under your love and your care and your grace and your power. And I pray, Father, that you give them all they need for a full and meaningful life together. And we pray that now. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. The Bible says, For this cause a man shall leave his father and mother and cling to his wife and become one flesh with her. And therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Hmm. Raphael and Carmen, it is now a joy to pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Raphael, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> I got a button. I present to you, yes, I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Raphael and Carmen Rodriguez. Yes. <laughs>